Okay, so this video is really just to help uh, with a couple of the things now I'm just just scratching the surface with main top. Um, I know everything about it in all honesty, but it's it's almost just like I'm using it as a pass through. That is really all it is. I use Photoshop for my main editing. I do the, the size and everything, even if it's down to a basic photo. If you've just got a photo, it's the correct size. You can place it into main top, but I always put it into Photoshop first. I'd rather just be consistent with that. I know where I'm at with uh, Photoshop. So let's just say we've just created our Photoshop image and we come into a main top. Uh, so but first we click the file and new. Uh, take a check look at these images just because it's on A4 doesn't mean it's going to only print in A4. Uh, it's just I place these in, in automatically uh, when I was given that small bit of support when I got set up with my rainbow printer. These are some of the things they sort of fired me towards uh, and it's just stuck and it works. So let's just go with it and click OK. That's created it our folder just shut the door sorry background noise so what do we have here then so what we first want to do is come to here and go import pictures now we are going to find our image so here's one i just created just a moment ago it's 100 by 100 uh, the right size to fit onto a coaster. Uh, always have adjust to picture size correct because otherwise you can do these but the only issue is that you are going to uh, run into problems with it not fit into your product uh, project. If you have created it in Photoshop like I was saying then you've already created the size in Photoshop so we'll hit OK. And here's our image. Now, if we leave this image this direction, now don't take this as correct information for every UV printer, but for rainbow inkjet printers, a uh, Chinese printer with the Epson, uh, Epson dual, dual Epson heads, this is what we got to do. Now, if, if we leave it like that and save, we will find that the image will print upside down on our printers and print from the back of the printer to the front. It still prints to the location where we set in our next program. However, I just feel it's better. I feel more comfortable with it printing from the front up. I know where I stand as the print continues to print. I always know what I'm looking at. So I always make sure I click this box show metric panel that brings up this panel down the bottom here if you click next to that zero just delete it and just type in 180 and then hit the enter key as you can see it's flipped the image so that's perfectly normal um, with this image there are white parts and because we got a white background we can't see it so don't panic about those you can see the, the black squares is our boundary, so we can see it's a, of a square shape. I do apologize if you can hear any banging. It sounds like my neighbor is starting DIY at 6 p.m. at night. Okay, so <clears throat> now we've got this image, we will click the print button. And as you can see, we already have our 4060 printer set up. And we're going to hit properties. So resolution should always be the same. Um, this currently is showing the size. Now it's because I did one of these just a moment ago. But you've got to be careful. Because if you don't pay attention. You might print your image too big or too small. So we don't have to change this. But if you come down to auto set paper. You just take you just watch this change it will change a little bit but not a much because this is the size i was printing just a minute ago but if i hit it now 
as you saw, it just slightly changed. Now, if that was saying a thousand by a thousand, your image is going to print way too big. It might have been a project. Let's say you did a canvas before an A2 canvas full page. And now you're printing a small coaster. Um, if you then in your next program have changed your starting location from zero to say like I have at 30 to bring it into the bed a little bit more. If you then allow it to still print the large size that you did just a minute ago, the machine is going to crash into the side. So always make sure you hit this auto set paper and it will make it to the correct size that you're expecting it to print to. Now, I'll show you in here white ink settings. Once you set these once, you don't need to set them again. So all I, all I do is I make sure it's on spot color and spot color. This then is all you're potentially doing is it telling it that you may or may not have created these spot spot colors. I always do that. I just leave it like that because it's no hardship. Now, when we go into the next program, it does still want to print this channel, but it prints it blank. So if you've only created a file that has a white spot, it will print that. But then if you haven't created a, a gloss, it will think it still wants you to print it, but it's no hardship just to press the stop button. If you don't want that to keep happening, you just delete this channel off so that you're telling it you're only going to have the one channel like so. So as I say, I always keep it to, uh, I'm always sat with my machine when it's printing anyway, so it's, it's no hardship for me to press the, uh, stop button so we're going to hit ok and again we're going to hit ok here so now we have created that we just need to print the file we don't hit ok because we haven't got a printer that will actually automatically just print so we need to print it to a file to create a file for well print which is the the rip software that will tell our printer what we're printing so we hit print to file uh, we will find a location, which we've already done one, but we'll, we'll just rename it again, just so that you can see. It's going to save it as the PRN file, and we're going to say save, and you will see that there we go, it's done. And now, if I go into that same folder, um, let's go into projects. Father's Day, Coaster, in here, and there it is, test. So it's as simple as that. That is all I use main top for. As I say, you can do different things with it. You can add text to it. You can add images to it. You can uh, create boxes with it. You can do a whole lot of different stuff. But I do not do any of that. I would just rather do all my editing in Photoshop. And this is just a pass through program. All it potentially does is Photoshop will save in a file format called TIFF, T-I-F-F. Maintop will understand the file format called TIFF. Uh, so you open up your TIFF file into Maintop and then main top will save in prn which when we come to well print which is this program here and we go okay a minute give it a second to load it's going to say failure because my printer is off but if we go open as you can see in that same folder all we are seeing are the PRM files it doesn't support the other files so if I go all files all these other ones that we've created it doesn't it doesn't understand them so it needs that PRN file which is what Wellprint does it creates that file for us so unless you really want to start learning main top I suggest you use it as I just showed you then as a pass-through program that you do nothing else with other than really using it as a pass through and, and not doing any editing in it.
One other little tip that I'll show you with uh, main top is if you find that your colors now, your late say with rainbow, um, they should have given you a correct file. So if we go to our printer a moment, go into our properties here, they should have given you the correct settings for this printer. Now, sometimes they don't do this. So if I go into this adjustment tab, so these are the settings I've had to change all mine to. So I've had to tell it to only print 60% of the amount of yellow that say Photoshop brings up. Um, the issue is, is you'd have to mess about. So they give us this ICC profile and it's junk. It really is junk. Uh, what I'd expect from a manufacturer of a, a, a printer, a UV printer, is that they should have printed non-stop to, to compare the colors and they will have all the tools to do it, uh, but they they don't do a good job. So I've had to play around with mine. So you can see there, I've I've messed about with it there, 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 and there. If try them settings, if your colours are off, I was finding that my skin tones, like images like this, it, it one bold colour, it doesn't really matter. You you could get away with if you're doing a coaster. And it's you know a brown and you want it's a dark brown but it's slightly lighter it's not going to be an issue but when you've got a photo that you're trying to print skin tones and they're off they show dramatically so if you're finding that you know my skin tones were all like a, an orangey yellowy color it was it was it was okay when you first look at it but then when it's printed and you look at it against the proper photo they're off so this is where you would change all this and then save it as that and then when you do the pass through it will convert all your colors to make sure it follows this anyway so there we go hopefully that has helped you with some of the basics that you will need for main top thank you very much guys